Thanks for joining. The first thing I'd like to show you is where you can get live help from our support team. Simply navigate to the X icon and click Help Me Now. This will open a live chat session with one of our helpful customer support agents. I'll now show you where and how to navigate to the different areas of the system. Starting with the X icon, this is where you can view your dashboards, various reporting tools, my record, settings, as well as online chat and support resources. Then we have the contacts area where you can create a new contact, view contacts, create a lookup, import contacts, and work with mail merging and labels. The next is campaigns. Here you can view, create, and manage your email templates and campaigns. The tasks area is where you can schedule calls, meetings, or to-dos log a call, view your calendar and task list, and manage your alarms and past due activities. Next, we have the opportunities section where you can view, create, and manage sales opportunities and access sales reports. By navigating to the notes icon, you can view and create notes and access note reports. The groups icon is where you can go to view, create, and manage groups. Then we have this icon that is a quick go-to with some of the most frequently used functions from various areas of the system that you just saw. Finally, we have the calendar icon. Here you can access your calendar. This concludes part one of the basic training video. Stay tuned to learn more about how to use specific tools and features in your SalesNexus database. The first area we will review is My Settings. Navigate to the X menu and click on My Settings. As you're getting started, it may be helpful to choose an area of your database that will be your default page when you log in. To do this, you can go to the Set As dropdown and choose from the list of areas. Should your time zone not appear correct, you can change your time zone by going to Set Your Time Zone dropdown and selecting the appropriate time zone. You can set your date and time formatting here as well. When you schedule an activity, you can choose to have a specific activity type set as your default. This can be a small time saver when you usually schedule the same type of activity. You can choose to use the full desktop site when using a mobile device and access your calendar sync and ring central settings. Please see our user guides on calendar sync and ring central settings if you need instructions on either of those areas or contact our support team. Next, we will go through the process of creating a new contact in your database. To create a contact, click on Create a Contact under the Contacts tab. Fill out as much information as you have and click Save. Once you've clicked Save, you'll be taken to the new contacts record. This is where you can access information about any specific contact in your database. On the contacts record, you'll see a left-hand side and a right-hand side. These are referred to as contact layouts. On the left-hand layout, you have some default fields that you can fill out about a contact. On the right-hand side layout, you'll see a drop-down next to view this contacts. Here, you can access any custom areas your company may have created as well as default tabs. You have the Notes tab where you can view all historical data and notes for this contact. By clicking See More Notes, you can view the notes in more detail. There's also the Activities tab that will show any activities such as calls, to-dos, or meetings that are scheduled with this contact. This is also where you would see any automated activities that are scheduled by campaigns you may have set up. Your Contact Docs tab is like a library for any documents you may need to upload to a contact record. To upload, click on See More Contact Docs and click on Upload Document. You also have Groups and Sales tabs, which will show you grouping data and sales opportunities for the specific contact record. You have the ability to change the layout of the left-hand side layout by clicking on Options, Edit Layout. You can then select and remove or add any fields you want to show on contact records. At the top right of your screen is the Quick Search tool. Here you can search by typing in the first few letters of a contact's name or you can choose what to search by. This is a quick way to find a specific contact in your database. To schedule a call, meeting, or a to-do, navigate to your Tasks icon. You can also schedule an activity on your calendar, but I'll show you that in the next section. Once you're on this screen, you can select and edit the activity. 
Choose from the contacts that you'd wish to schedule the activity with or schedule it for yourself. You can change the type of activity, the date, and the time. Then you can either select from the regarding line drop-down options or you can type in your own custom regarding. This is basically the subject line of the task. If you want to add any details about the activity, you can do so here. You also have the option to delegate the task to another user, attach the activity to a group, edit the duration of the activity, and set the priority of the activity. Under Options, you can make the activity recurring, and you can also add other contacts or users to the activity. You can choose the recurring settings. You can search, add, and save other contacts or users to the activity. Once you've finished editing the activity, click Save. You can view your activities and other users' activities by going to your task list. Here you can choose the date range, user, and type. Use your task list like you would a daily to-do list. The task list is a helpful and important tool, so don't forget to use it properly. The calendar feature may look like other virtual calendars you've seen. Here you can choose whose calendar you'd like to view, view multiple users' calendars at one time, drag and drop activities, or edit the duration. By clicking on one of the activities, it will take you to that activity details where you can view, edit, and manage the activity. You can also create an activity from the calendar by clicking on the day and time of your choice by following the same steps that we went over when scheduling an activity in the previous section.